So if I can just open the door, apply that direct feel, and have her step off, and I'm keeping this stick down yeah. until I need it. Okay, And that's how you're gonna get it done. But if we come out here and go to the stick first, you always have to rely on it. Correct. Yep. That's the phases. That's the phases. It's yep. crazy what she's... Was she? That's great. Oh, yeah. It's crazy what she remembered just from one session. Put her nose right in it. Yep. She used to. We'll do front quarters here. Use that feel. Step her forward. Very good. Step her forward and push. Okay. I really like that because that's one of the first times I was able to touch her with the string. She didn't freak out and run away. Yeah. She just said, oh, my bad. I'll step up for you. Okay. You know? That was perfect. And, and yeah, ready. and we've never hauled off and cranked on her either, you know. So there's no reason for her to be afraid of this stuff, right. you know. So she was just throwing a little temper tantrum, saying, "You can't tell me what to do." There she goes. Look nice. at that. Can you see those leads already shaping up too, in those nice little turns? We've got the nose in. We got the shoulder swinging to the outside. You know, so you give her a couple of years of this, being that she's just a yearling, she's going to have a lot going for her by the time it's ready to ride. Good. When is that? About two? Late, yeah, late two, early three. Yep. So we'll get her guiding around here, pick up the outside hind. That's really good. It is good. Step her forward here. Okay, right there is that, that little piece that we don't ever want to allow. So I'm not gonna just hang out and keep asking her. I'm just gonna I'm gonna have a little follow through or a promise. And here comes that little temper. So I'm gonna just really control her nose and her hindquarters. See that when I stepped in to do that one rain stop, she shut herself down. I didn't even have to touch her that time because she knows what's coming next. And we want that. If I step in with that hand towards the stirrup, I want her to shut that down. You know, so we can take that bolting out of her before we ever ride her. We don't bolt. We never run away. If she wants to drift around right here, that's fine. The only thing I'm going to do while she's drifting around is just control her hindquarters through her nose, through the rain. That's it. She can drift around, go hang out with her buddy here. Appreciate that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she does appreciate that. Do you remember how long we're going to do this? Not very long. Not very long, nope. <laughs> Just enough to kind of kind of keep that, yep. <laughs> Not with this one, yeah. The other one's a different story. Correct. Yeah, yeah, last time, yesterday, we just sat and sat and sat and waited and hung out. And yeah, this one will itch on a little bit, maintain that friendship, and then we're going to go back to work. Okay, same thing here. Can I pick her nose up towards her hindquarters so that she can turn on her haunches? You know, if we get caught up and just pushing her around, just trying to push the front, you already know this, but they can't balance properly. Yeah. So we lift that chin up while we turn so that she can sit on her butt. Yep. So right here, she's setting me up for a, a turn to my right and her left. So I'm gonna pick her chin up, see if she'll sit on her butt, do a direct rein. Okay, so just as a yearling, she's learning how to operate on these on the rain. Send it forward. We never sit on that. Go. I'm gonna step in, one rain stop. I'm gonna take a hold of her that time because she didn't stop. There's always gotta be that follow-through. You know, she knows 
after just that first session that if I step in like that, I'm going to take that away. I don't ever want that to be a bluff. I want it to be a promise. Okay. Yep. If you continue to run away, I will take your, take your feet away through your nose. I will activate that one rain stop every time. Same thing here. If I, if I open this door to my left and then I apply that direct pressure, I want to have that promise that I will control your feet and follow through. Right there when they bolt, they give that defensive posture, nose out, shoulder in. So they can hit you with their shoulder, kick you and run away. We talked about that already. Yep, so, yes, that's okay. your, you're exactly right. When they do that, I'll do the one rain stop with their nose up in the air. Yes. Throw their nose up in the air. And if they're too heavy to do it with the, with the rain, if that doesn't have an effect, I'll come up with the stick. You wanna pick that stick, pick that nose up. Okay, so right now we're just working to work on the little confidence thing here. So I'm just gonna go back and forth with this stick and I call this exercise parking. And I'm not necessarily at this stage in the game, at not, yeah, this stage in the game, I'm not gonna ask her to stand in one spot, but I'm just gonna go up and down, left and right, whatever way she's going until she can find a standstill. Because you're right, I didn't ask her to do anything. Bonk. Bonk. So, yeah. Well, if you if you think about um, in these early stages of development, I think a lot about um, teaching them to read my intention. Right. That's why I said those phases are change my body language, add the direct pressure, and then add the the hurting pressure or add the stick, right? So I want her to read my intention. If I'm just going like this with the stick, I'm not asking her, my intention's not anything. Right, because you haven't let the rope, you haven't right. your posture. Right, yep, so it's just, she's reacting, right? And I don't want horses to react. I don't want them to react to energy or movement. I want them to respond to my intention. So that's, that's how I think of this stuff is, if, if I see that she's reacting to stuff, I'm going to do a whole bunch of goofy stuff, you know, without any intention. And while I'm doing this goofy stuff, you can see with me going left and right with this stick. So if she takes off to my left or she's taking off to my right, I'm going to go over here with this stick. Right. I'm creating, I'm teaching her to, in these beginning stages, yeah, to... Um, to stop and check in with me or to check in with you or to check in with her person when something uncomfortable happens. So it's crazy random stuff with the goal in mind, meaning stop and square up to me. Make sense? Yep. Check into your person. So right there, if you remember, when they come into your space like that, not go for the chest, not go for the chest right? That'll get you, that can get you kicked right in the face. I go I go up and down, up and down. There she goes. So after they run so far from it, I will establish a line. You're seeing that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna allow her to bump into one of these lines. Right there, she's taking her head. Never, ever, ever allow that solid pull like we've already talked about. Okay. Never, never, never. So she keeps taking her head off that direction. I'm gonna, you'll see me step in there just a little bit and kind of block a little bit with the stick so that she can't get that nose away from me. Again, yeah, that's a, that's another thing we don't want to teach any horse to do is get that nose away from us. It's not that they can't, you know, it's not that they have to square up to us all the time, but taking their nose away from us is different from squaring up or not squaring up. Yep. She's trying that answer pretty hard, so we're going to have to really step in and tell her that that's not acceptable. 
Right there was a little challenge. Did you see that? She said, can I move your feet? She challenged, she squared up to me and came right straight through. Perfect time not to go after the chest, right? And it was also a good time for me to kind of call her bluff and say, I'm not moving. Did you see that? I went right up underneath that chin and said, you, you're going to stay out of my space. Yep, you're going to stay out of my Right, yep. And I'm not trying to push her either. All I'm trying to do is own my space and teach her not to react to energy, not to react to stimulus. I'll call it stimulus because I want her to respond to my intention, not react to stimulus. That could be the wind blowing. That could be a plastic bag flowing by. It could be anything. You know, it could be a deer hopping out of the trees. Don't react to that. Respond to my intention. That's going to provide you with safety and comfort and leadership and responsibility. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. So... Right here with that parking game, I call it parking because over time they learn to ground tie with this or just stay where I put you, which is the second responsibility I give horses, stay where I put you. That make sense? Yeah. Isn't that cool? That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, I mean, we need that. We do. <laughs> you know? So the first responsibility we've been working mostly on that is act like my partner. The second one is stay where I put you. Okay? So, <clears throat> so I don't want her pulling on me I don't want her pushing through me just hang out with me be my partner that's the that's the kind of horse I want that's what it what I want all horses to learn stay where I put you means in the most basic sense if I park you here you stand still then we can groom then we can tack up then we can pick out their feet and then we can fill in the blank you know um, right and then for the the second part you know as they advance they're, as they grow with their understanding of stay where I put you, we start riding them. All right, so I want you to settle into the walk at this tempo, at this speed. Stay where I put you. Stay at the walk. Stay at this speed. Same thing if I'm riding a pattern. I want to lope this size of a circle at this speed, at this tempo. I'll be quiet as long as you stay where I put you. Okay, so it, it, that's, that's what stay where I put you means. It's not just for the standstill, but it's also... Stay centered between my legs and my reins. Stay on my pattern. Stay at the speed that I set. If you stay there, I won't. I'll stay quiet. Okay, and that's the giving them responsibility too, right? So we want to, yep, we want to be providers of safety, comfort, leadership, and responsibility. That's what horses hook on to. Isn't that cool?